10 slides next we have einstein prediction build up so uh, the one thing that i would like to highlight over here is you know einstein prediction builder and you just saw model uh, a model builder as well so what's the difference so the difference is same as i explained earlier uh, einstein prediction builder only runs on uh, salesforce core objects but uh, model builder runs on data cloud object where you can leverage the crm objects as well and data outside crm as well you are not limited to that like crm itself only we have the capability of doing both of this and with time what i see and what i feel is einstein one is going to you know uh, einstein one is going to be a product of salesforce which would incorporate all the einstein offerings from salesforce whether it be einstein next best action einstein discovery or einstein prediction uh, builder as well because it is kind of covering all of that and it is kind of giving us the freedom of utilizing not the freedom but the capability of utilizing data from outside salesforce as well which is going to be very crucial and salesforce is very doubling down on the same so yeah einstein prediction builder is uh, like the same capability where we can you know predict uh, whether it's going to fail or not or a percentage as well and then uh, it utilizes certain models and uh, we have this uh, complete understanding of the same if you uh, if you see the demo again i will show you how it is configured i will not go deep into it because a uh, model builder is providing uh, much more capability but i will showcase you how we can configure it so if you can see the demo slide yeah so this is how einstein prediction builder we can create we can choose a new prediction we can give the name test 333 or test 444 that's fine i want to do and then you can see i can only choose uh, standard object itself only so yeah we are limited to that itself only in this scenario and then we can create our own model whether you want to uh, use the complete data what all uh, attributes to use and everything in this scenario we are limited to just einstein prediction builder model itself only but in the model builder that we saw from the, you know data cloud in that or not data cloud einstein one in that we can use our own custom <coughs> models as well whether it be uh, you saw sage maker uh, if you haven't seen that let me show you uh, my bad i think i didn't cover it yeah we can use amazon sage maker cloud vertex data bricks you can configure your own models over there and you can use them over here so you have that capability uh, again uh, if you create you know your uh, uh, if you create your model and if you have configured it and then you create record you will get the probability as soon as the record is created after some time the probability will be updated so this is uh, what einstein prediction builder is next up we have einstein next best action so for einstein next best action i will showcase you uh, a demo and then i will explain what it is so einstein next best action is basically a capability from salesforce where einstein is understanding the customer the customer behavior the customer context and then suggesting best act, uh, best actions based on the recommendations uh, that we have created so in this scenario what you are seeing right now is a community that we have created don't go on to the ui it just for the demo purposes i just created it this afternoon itself only modifying and some uh, like my team uh, made the changes so we have created this just for the demo sake so in this a donor has been uh, given this community and the donor as soon as he logs in he can see these certain recommendations and now these recommendations are based on certain criteria that the ai has identified the first one being typically this is the time the customer uh, the donor comes and you know give donations so it could be the end of the year fiscal year and they are uh, being charitable and uh, give, doing donations and taking the tax benefit and all of that and then we have the capability of you know uh, we can see if he is donating money he would want to see i donated 3000 dollars last year as well i want to know how you utilize those so einstein is also recommending that as well using recommendation builder like would you like to see how your donation are being utilized if he clicks on yes a uh, screen flow would pop up and it would take him to that scenario or there that page or that uh, whatever it is that we configure where he can see like okay my money was utilized in this particular fashion and then we have the uh, what do you would like to become a part of our campaign so let's say last year he donated money for uh, child poverty okay or like uh, providing food to the ch children now he might be interested in a new campaign that we are having which is providing uh, educational supplies to children so he might be interested in that he might click into it 
and then he would be enrolled into it and again a screen flow would be popped up on top of it so einstein next best action goes to the context goes to the uh, you know goes to the criteria and understand what are the no, uh, next best things which might be beneficial for the customer for the opportunity for the case whatever we configure it and the configuration part of it is basically uh, from the either you cre- either you create it from flows or you co- configure it from next best extraction or strategies but my strategies are going to be deprecated as uh, what i understand and then like it's going to be config uh, deprecated so you should use flows and in flows then you can you know you would be utilizing this recommendation where we have different different recommendations which are kind of suggested by ai and uh, as you could see like this was the yeah this was the image and this was the recommendation which was being utilized so this is einstein next best action so if we can go back to the slide so i the, i think i can cover the remaining points on this yep so yeah.